Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Ashley Elizabeth. Take a seat and let us play with some makeup. In today's video we are going to be transforming from this to this. So today we have gone for some green and yellow tropical glam. We've gone a bit out there. I realise it's been quite a while since I've done something a little bit crazy on my channel. I keep saving all of them for the gram. So I figured let's do something a little bit nuts. And this is what we came up with. So if you would like to see how to create this look, please keep on watching. Hey guys. I had to get changed because that hoodie was giving me the sweats. So I'm just going to dive straight in. As you can tell, I've already done my eyebrow and carved underneath it off camera, as well as doing this eye, just in case you hadn't noticed. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelid. And to do that today, I'm going to use the P. Louise and Mitchell collaboration, the acid rain paint. And I'm going to use the shade blank canvas. So I'm just grabbing a very, very, very small amount. And I'm going to get that all over the rest of my eyelid. This base is so thick. I know I've seen people using it as concealer and I'm just a bit worried about the state of their under eyes afterwards. Then as always, just switching to a fluffy brush just to blend that out. And I'm gonna blend that into our darker concealer under that brow. So I'm going to dive straight in with our eyeshadows and I'm going to dip into the Beauty Bay and Mitchell collab, the Me, Myself and Mitchell palette first and I'm going to take that deep green shade called Mardi and just on a Morphe M507 I'm just going to pack this into my crease, doing that press and wiggle that we learned. Then I'm just blending off that edge just to soften it. Next, I'm going to switch to a clean M506, not 7. And I'm going to dip into the Be Perfect Cosmetics and Stacey Marie Carnival XL Pro Palette. And I'm going to take that shade, The Hype. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing I've just done with my darker shade. So once I've built that colour up, I'm just going to switch to a Zoeva 227 just to blend that out because I want to start pulling it this way. I can really feel a difference with this base as well. I can feel the colours really grip into it more. But I think I would only ever use it for like really heavy, crazy looks. I'm just going to leave that there for now. I'm going to take a, another Zoeva 227 and I'm going to go back to the Beauty Bay Mitchell palette and I'm going to take the shade Shmoney. It felt like Sean Connery then, like Miss Shmoney Penny. Is that a good, good impression? And this is going to be like a bridge between our greens and yellows. And I'm going to really start dragging out this outer corner. Then the final eyeshadow for this part of the eye, I'm going to go back to the Stacey Marie palette and I'm going to take that yellow shade called Keen and I'm going to be using a Zoeva 224 just to blend that around the edges. I think green and yellow is one of my favourite colour combinations. It just screams like tropical vibes. To me it does anyway. Like I don't think you can use these two colours and be sad. So now that all them colours are on, I'm going to go back down my stages and build them all back up so we can see them all clearly. So now that we're looking something like this, it's time to move on to our crease. First things first, I'm going to wipe away all of this excess product. Just using a touch of the simple eye makeup remover and a cotton bud. You can tell straight away how much tougher it is to remove the blank canvas base than the normal Pinoise base. So I've just realised my camera cut out and missed the lid part but I've just used the 
blank canvas base to carve the lid. I was not prepared to do that again for you all. So for the eyelid today, I'm going to use some of the Sample Beauty eyeshadow pigments. And I'm first going to go in with the yellow, which is called Stacy. And I think this was a collab with Stacy Marie, the same one who is, the palette is by. Then I'm going to use the Katie pigment. I forgot to mention I am using a Zoeva 234 for this stage. That's just going to go all in the centre of the lid. And then finally we've got the Drew pigment. Just to bridge that gap on the outer corner. So moving on to the under eye, I'm just priming that with some of the P. Louise base in the shade number 3. And I'm then going to go and fill in with our all our eyeshadows that we've used on the top of the eyes. Then for eyeliner, I'm just going to take the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil and this is in the shade Go Green. For eyelashes today, I'm just going to pop on the Blinky Boo eyelashes in the style Gabrielle. Then just as a final touch to the eyes, I'm going to go back into the Stacey Marie palette and take the shade Fair Play and just use that as a highlight on our inner corners. And let's move on to our face. So for our foundations today, I'm going to take a mixture of two different foundations. I'm first going to take the NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Punjab. And I'm going to mix that with a little smidge of the Maybelline Superstay in the shade number 34 Bronze. I feel like these foundations mix so nicely together. For concealer, I'm going to take the Sephora Pro Concealer and I'm going to take the shade Custard. And that one is very similar to my skin tone today, so I probably will go in with another just to highlight and brighten everything up. Yeah, I'm going to brighten up those under eyes a little bit more. So I'm going to take the same Sephora concealer, but this time in the shade Fondant. Just get that right under there. I am going to add some cream bronzer and I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Tanto in the shade Light. Then just to lightly set the whole face, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and this is in the shade number 1, Fair. Then to completely set my highlighted areas, I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Easy, Loose, Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Pound Cake. Could never ever say that right. Then I'm just going to carve out underneath those contour lines. I've become really accustomed to doing this. I could do this on every single makeup now. It's really hard not to. I really don't know what I'm going to do when I go back to like the real world. Like, can I be cutting about like this every day? I'm just going to set my contoured areas now. I'm going to use the NARS Bronze and Powder in the shade Laguna. I'm just sort of blending the edge of that eyeshadow with my bronzer just to help them fade into one another. Mm -hmm. 
Moving on to blush, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Blush Palette and this is in the shade Hot Spice. And I just always take a nice mixture of all of them shades. Then for highlighter, I want to sort of keep that golden -y vibe that we've got going on with the eyes and everything so i'm going to use the doll beauty highlighting duo and i've got the shade champagne supernova then let's move on to our lips and i'm feeling like we need something really nude with this so I'm actually just going to use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade I'm Nude. I'm just going to pop this on first. I've been really enjoying doing this lately so I don't end up with really defined overlined lips. Then I'm just going to take a touch of lip liner. This is the Morphe Lip Liner in the shade Sweetheart. I'm just going to really lightly outline that lip. And that is today's finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And while you're there, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you again and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.